The VIX index, it basically represents the market's expectation for forward one-year movement. And something that confuses a lot of people is you often hear the VIX being talked about, it's a forward one-month volatility. That is true, it is. It's based on S&P 500 options, and they do use a strip of 30-day, out of the money, in the money, a full strip of those options to calculate the VIX value. But then it is an annualized number. So that's the part that actually confuses people. Because when you see the VIX value, let's say the VIX is 30 today. I think it's 29 or something, but 30. This isn't $30. It's actually 30%. And what it means very simply is that the market is predicting that the S&P 500 will move 30% in the next year. And it's plus or minus. A lot of people think that that inverse correlation has to hold. It's also plus, right? It's just volatility. So when you see that value of the VIX, it is a percentage. It is just the market's one standard deviation expectation. So because it's an annualized number, it's actually really easy to calculate different time frames. So if you wanted to know how much the market is pricing that one month time frame, remember the VIX is 30 day option strip, but it's an annualized number. All you have to do is divide by the square root of 12 because there's 12 months in a year, which the square root of 12 is 3.46. And the 30 VIX is implying an S&P 500 move of plus or minus 8.67% over the next one month. We can also do it weekly. So there's 52 weeks in a year. You can take that 30 VIX, divide by the square root of 52, which is 7.21, and you get an implied move of 4.16%, plus or minus, over the next one week. And I think this is the one that's probably most useful for people, is the daily. So there's 252 trading days in the year. You just simply divide the VIX index, the 30, that we are assuming it is today, divide by the square root of 252, which is 15.87, and we have an implied daily move, plus or minus 1.89%. So if you want a quick little cheat sheet. You can see the VIX values here. This is what the VIX is implying for a one month move. Remember, divide by the square root of 12. One week, divide by the square root of 52. And one day, divide by 252, representing trading days only.